because he just kind of gets up in your face. Like yeah. he's like he doesn't let you like think. He adapts quicker than you can like even consider that. Yeah. Well, back to the match. We have Basque. We have Basque and, and Basque Curse. Um, two members of UC Santa Cruz's uh, Smash Four team, and um, it's Villager versus Peach on Smashville. And I believe this is a loser semi. So we're gonna we're gonna see which one of these makes on to loser semi to challenge the other side. Yeah. Winner play, okay, the winner play, winner of this place one up solitary, uh, a member of another crew who plays Cloud, so that'll be interesting to see. But right now, I think this is going to be really interesting because these two have really like diverse like play styles. Like, you can either play campy or you can play like aggro at the same time, you know? Yeah. You see a lot of good peaches like Slayers, you know, always up in your face. And the way he uses his air dodge aerials and Renai, the way he's just like patient but his spacing like is on point. Like, he doesn't throw on anything if he doesn't need to. Yeah, well, the thing is, um, me and Parasite have been talking about this. Villager does win this matchup, um, but obviously because Anne and Parasite do play very often, it like is both of them are going to be used to each other, and yeah, they're going to be used to each other's habits, and it's just a matter of oh, um, that's okay, that's a one sprinkle right there. Okay, yeah, he's just waiting for that. No, I, I definitely agree with what you said. Like, I I, I can definitely see why. Villager would win the matchup because in terms of if it, if if they if in the end it's the last talk last hit situation, like Villager doesn't need to be the one to like panic. Like Villager yeah, can wait. Peach. In the neutral, Villager all he has to do is just zone you out with uh, back airs or fares, and it's really hard for Peach to get in. Yeah, she has turn up, but yeah. I mean it doesn't really do much just because of how nice hard read right safe there, but... Villager can really play. So what hot, uh, what Parasite really has to do is. Whoa! Nice spacing right there. That was that was a really good mix-up. Yeah, l like you were saying about what what, what he needs to be done. Yeah, to be Parasite done. really needs to. Um, whenever he sees and make a mistake, he has to capitalize it a lot, which Peach is very capable of doing. Yeah, I believe. Is that gonna kill? That was, yeah, that's gonna okay, kill. That's really interesting. Yeah. I I I. How do you? How would you say like Toad is being used? Because I I don't really see it that much, but like Parasite's I mean, been using a lot to you a know, lot double of, suit, right? Yeah, a lot of a lot of Peaches actually don't believe that oh. nice hard read there i love that i love that i think i think last time like he did the same thing when he did it so anthon okay he's gonna d give that reaction so I'm, I'm gonna throw out that move again i yeah. thought that was interesting with the tree so i think he's trying to put like maybe pressure on like any back rolls or anything like that perhaps. yeah i mean the thing is that uh villager just has so many different tools he can use when he's stuck in a situation and since peach isn't really the fastest in the air yeah, her air mobility is all right, but I believe her she's actually not that fast on the ground. Yeah, she she's like, not the fastest in the air, so Villager is able just to zone you out with all his different aerials. The only problem I'd say that Villager has in this matchup is he really does have a hard time killing, other than like edge guarding. Yeah, he does have. Oh, the, that's a stitch! That's a yeah, stitch! All right, now he's just trying to be patient. And, and was and being really smart about this right now. He doesn't need to get hit by oh, any man. All right, that was really good patience. Like you see earlier, and was in the bottom corner, and he's just waiting. Nice use of Toad. I guess you could say, though, yeah, I guess you can count as a counter, you know? I mean, the thing about Toad, though, is it's not really optimized as a counter. It's not the strongest. And yeah, I think he's a using of... a little much now, if you think about it. No, it, the reason why is just because Anne can Back use up. the rockets as a way of, like, resetting the neutral, in a sense, just because he can send it out, and then right after, he can do an aerial, and he won't get punished for it, just because of how safe it is. So, oh, and nice. That was a really nice space here. Continue before I talk about that. Yeah, so basically, as Peach, you don't really have many options out of, like, when you, you either have to nair the rocket, you either have shield, you perfect shield the rocket, or you jump over it, uh, Parasite, Parasite one game one. But that's kind of the thing is, what can Peach do? Well, I'm, guess, I'm only assuming that what Parasite is thinking is, Anne's going to go for a punish because you shield or because you near the rocket so I'm gonna use Toad so I have a consistent hitbox just shooting out. Yeah it's about like how they utilize the tools to kinda of, like trade with one one another. It's like I have this but then you can use that but I can use this. It's a kinda of, like yeah it's kinda, kinda of like, like the, paper scissors. Yeah kinda of like the weird concept it's like oh I know what you're gonna do and then the other person's like oh I know what you're I know you know what I'm gonna do but I know that too. It's yeah. like it's kinda of like back and forth. And that what really makes this game great because it, it it is like a lot like rock, paper, scissors but it's not just rock, paper, scissors. It's like Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, and just a bunch of other, you know, stuff. Oh, and it looks wow, like what an early kill. That's, yeah, just right there, he's just only. putting all the pressure with the aerials and turnips. So, like, yeah, I really think that Ant's not respecting Peach, like, nice wait. on the, like, on the ground, especially Ant in the air. I mean, what Parasite's doing is just perfect, um, 
pressure onto Ant. And what Ant's not doing, see like right there, he... Yeah, he's not punishing him. He's not punishing anything. I mean, you can't really punish Peaches there that often. But, but like, he, even, like that, he, didn't, like, he didn't make a vent. He's, he's scared. Yeah, again. He's, he's playing really scared. He's playing too defensively. And I feel like that's a thing that he's struggling too much. Also, he's doing way too many rockets. If you notice. Look at that. A, a lot of unsafe, you know, a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot of unsafe fair and bears. I think he's just like desperate to like get the hit or the kill. I, and I he's just like, doing a lot of things that's unsafe. Yeah. I, I, I really do feel like it's not really just the matchup in general, but he's really just flustered right now. Um, playing against Juan, you know, just I mean, because they're buddies, they know like Juan just knows so many things about how Ant's probably playing. So it's you know it shows that Ant's really being flustered about his play style. Yeah, Juan's just being actually relatively patient. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Okay. See. Yeah. No. He he he's, he's too desperate for the kill. Yeah. I think he's that's not. Okay. That's a, yeah. that's two zero. Wow, that was quick. Goes to Parasite. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like he's being way too thirsty for the kill. You know, he's he really is. Go for the damage you can. Yeah. Like, I think we talked about this too earlier when I was going when, when I went against that yeah. Bayonetta. He's no, he's just being really, he's really flustered, and because of that, he's not really respecting what he can, um, what he can do. Because as villager, I mean, like I said before, you know, you just zone them out consistently, and Peach can't get in. It's really hard for Peach to get in when you are pushing them out, you know, playing... I mean, it is playing lame, but you do get a lot out of it. Yeah. And no. Oh, wait, sorry. Just, Continue. That's just what um, Ant wasn't doing that entire match. He was playing way too aggressive, and because of that, he got punished because, you know, Fair and Bear obviously have a lot of end lag. So whenever he hit shield, he was... You know, he was literally that close. It was just blocked and just grabbed, you know? It was yeah. too close. He, he was trying to fish her a lot of stuff. Like, back to what I was trying to make the connection. Like, you talked to me about Bayonetta. Like, for example, like, if you're doing well against a neutral Bayonetta, you, like, you can't be like, okay, I'm doing well. Now I'm just going to go for, like, mix-ups. Because, like, it, it's from character and the interaction between character and the player. It's like, how did they utilize each tool? Like, you know, the Bay Bayonetta you ended up using which time? Because I got two aggro. So what I should have done is, like, like you said, it's just kind of like, I'm I'm dictating the pace of the match already. Why am I trying to force things that's I don't need to do when I can just you know kind of be more patient, you know? I, and that's kind of what led my downfall in this tournament was I had a good lead and I had a good momentum, but I got too I definitely got too greedy, you know. I did some good things, but it was like flawed. So it's it's about like refining that that like the finding that perfection between like aggression and knowing when to like find a balance between like again patience and aggression. Like you can't play like just doing one you, yeah. you have to find the balance and you have to and you have to utilize that knowing what the op your opponent's going to do what your opponent wants to get inside their head it, it, it's, it's it, again rock paper scissors and chess it's, you know trading moves and making the right options you know you have to know when you can make a trade or you know what options you can make like for example if, if i know i can for example you we were talking about even just like in a, in a game of like dive kick it's like one of the two it's a two button fighting game right but is so good fundamentally because you have to know like when you can approach and how you're gonna do it like especially if you're like putting the pressure on them you feel like oh I'm gonna keep pushing it but maybe they know that and they're just kind of baiting you to think oh I'm they have the momentum but they're just kind of forcing it so you got you got to really think about what not just you're thinking or how you're feeling but you also have to consider what what the mentality of the other other player is and how, how they're gonna space the stuff and that's what I felt like Ant did like yeah, I mean, it's just the problem that, I mean, if you talk about Parasite as a player, he's a really defensive player, and he will only go in when, you know, it's guaranteed. And, and he did a lot of stuff that was guaranteed. Well, not even not just guaranteed, it's he did safe. stuff that was optimal. Yeah, it's very, he, play, he has a very optimal play style, and that's the thing that I, like, I wouldn't say a lot of people in NorCal do, but that's why he's taken notable names in SoCal. That's why, you know... He's ranked as a NorCal player is because of how optimal he plays, how defensively like smart he plays. Because not a whole lot of people do that. You know, some people just will go. They'll pick Bayonetta. They'll pick Sheik. They'll pick Diddy. They'll go for this really aggressive play style. And yeah, it does work. But but it's like it's, it's it can only get you so far because the top like top level will know like yeah the top level players are gonna know you know. Okay, that if you're you, playing this aggressive. I know what's gonna I know what to punish. I know how you're gonna be aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, but like that's what I was saying earlier. Like, you know, you were watching matches. I was doing good some aggro, some aggro parts. But then when I got the lead or something, I should slow down, wait, and see, punish, and then 